This video describes how to troubleshoot the ESP LXD controller when it is unable to engage a pump start relay. Decoders have a limited amount of power to energize relays on a pump start relay. Rainbird recommends using a Rainbird PSR series pump start relay that incorporates a double relay system, the smaller relay being an ice cube relay. This pump start relay is wired directly to the decoder's output. The pump start relay energizes, which in turn energizes the primary relay. The Rainbird PSR series pump start relay is guaranteed to work with Rainbird decoders. Rainbird recommends using an FD101 decoder for small pump start relays and an FD102 decoder for pumps with three quarter horsepower or greater. Programming for a pump start relay may also affect its operation. Program pump start relays under the setup wizards. Select master valves. In this example, I have a master valve already set up. Now let's add a pump start relay. Go to master valve two, then hit next. Now enter the decoder address. And now set the valve type to V5, which is pump start relay, and hit next. Leave this at the default, normally close selection. Next, you're asked which flow zone should this master valve pump start relay be on. Let's change it to be the same flow zone as my master valve, which is flow zone one, and hit next. This provides a description of which master valves are combined on a common main line. In this case, master valves one and two are combined in this flow zone. Now, whenever a station that requires a master valve or a booster pump comes on, it's going to simultaneously fire both the master valve, which is set up as master valve one, and the pump start relay, which is set up as master valve two. Be sure to visit rainbird.com slash ESPLX series for product manuals and FAQs. You can also call us for free professional support for programming and troubleshooting.